So guys, a couple of months ago, I posted a video on the Yidi K600, which was a vacuum robot. Now today, what we have is the Yidi K700, which is a smart navigation vacuum and mopping robot. I'm so excited to show you this one. So let's open it up and take a look. Okay, so let's take a look inside. Now, what we have, of course, is the instruction manual. So make sure you guys read this. Um, also, uh, we've got some bits inside here as well. Okay, so let's take out our robot Hoover. Now, I, I already like the colour. Let's see. It's this way. What do you think, guys? Um, I like it. White and rose pink all the way around. And let's just turn it around here. So it's very similar to their previous one. And what we have is a dustbin here. So this is when you want to use it as a vacuum. And also it comes, so we just put that down. And it also comes with a, so when you use, you use this for mopping. Now this is a reservoir, so you can fill it up with water. So I'll take this out properly um, so you can see it. And also the microfiber pads as well. You get an extra one too, which is brilliant. So you can wash it and then, you know, uh, if you, you haven't already washed this one, then you've got another one spare anyway. So that's great. Um, some side brushes as well, which we will then clip on at the bottom here. So I think they're quite, they're pretty straightforward. And what you just do is you just click it in there, straightforward. And again, there you go. And we also got a V brush here as well, which picks up the hair and everything. Wheels that go up and down. And that's of course the dustbin container, which also has filter as well. So yep, yeah, there it is. So easy again, and you can rinse that, you rinse the filter out as well. Let's just pop that back in. And let me just leave this out here because we're gonna, I'm gonna show you the reservoir as well. Now going back to the box, so cleaning tool as well to clean the brushes. We've got some batteries in here and that of course goes with the little remote over here. So I'll take this out as well so you guys can see. And we also have the charging dock as well. So I think we can remove this easily. So it's a charging door, of course, which means that it will charge the robot um, and also it can make its way to the charging dock as well when it uh, needs charging. Um, guys, it comes with a two pin plug. So what you will need is a two pin adapter, which is only for a few pounds. Um, I'll link that up for you so, you so you guys can check it out on Amazon. Okay, so let's take a look. So let me show you how it works and demonstrate this. Okay guys, so what, let me just go through what we have here then, is the water reservoir for when we're, for when we're mopping, and it comes with um, removable microfiber cleaning pads, and we've got an extra one as well. Also our dustbin as well for when we're vacuuming, and so here is where all the, the dust will gather, and all the rubbish will gather, and we can tip that into the bin uh, once it's full. And also we've got a cleaning tool here. We've got a little remote. Also our charging station and also the actual robot hoover as well. And of course the manual. So I've already charged the robot. Um, charging time is four hours. And what we're going to do now is to clean up the room. So we're gonna vacuum it first. So we're gonna be needing our dustbin. So in that goes and let's switch this thing on and clean this room. Okay, so guys, let me just show you the remote. Now, what we have here is basically, if you want to manually uh, control the robot Hoover, uh, then you can uh, press this around here. And what it does, it will uh, go forward, backwards, um, also uh, right and left as well. Um, this is, if you press the middle button here, then it will randomly uh, go around the room. Um, 
This button here, which is like a house, uh, it will find its charging dock by itself. The middle button here, this uh, will clean the edges of the room all the way around. And this last button here is uh, what they call spot cleaning. So what it does is it moves into uh, like a round uh, circle. So we will go start from the middle, going all the way round. Now let me just uh, show you guys this smart eye here on the robot. Now what that does, it, it basically uh, nav it finds a navigation around your room. So it finds, um, you know, the bearings of your room. Also just showing you down here, the, the bumper sensor, which is this all the way round, um, and what that does is it basically can find where the like chairs are or furniture, etc. So it doesn't bump into anything. Here is the power button, um, so it does have to be on, so you can use the remote with it. And if you don't want to use a remote to control the robot, then you can just press the button here, and it will do everything itself. So I've just got some rice here, I don't know if you can see that, uh, just to test it out. And let's just power it on. So let's just flick that. And then I'm just going to manually uh, control this. So let's just press the forward button. Um, okay, now I'm just going to press the middle button here. So what it will do is it will random, randomly um, clean the room. So let's do that. And she talks as well. Um, so basically, if it's stuck or it needs charging, the robot will speak. Also, I think it's great that it can clean under sofas, uh, beds as well, places where you can't get to. Now we're going to spot clean, so just press that button here. And that's starting to clean. So as you can see, it goes round and round. And we've still got some rice there. So hopefully it will clean that up. And that's all cleaned up nicely. And now we're going to give the edges a go. So we're just going to press this middle button here. And off it goes. So you get the idea guys, so let me just um, remove the bin and let's see what we have gathered and there you go guys, you can see it has gathered a fair amount of dust in here and there's some rice there at the bottom as well. Um, and now I'm going to show you how to use this robot as a mop. Okay, so now I'm just going to uh, demo the mopping side of things, so what I've done is I've filled water in uh from here and the max is 300 mils and i've also just added a, a few drops of um cleaning detergent so now we're just going to click that in this way marking plate has been installed so there you go that's in so now we're ready to mop so let me just get my remote the remote functions are still the same so
Okay, so let's just take that off. So here you can see how much dirt that's picked up. Uh, so let's just remove this and I can pop this straight in the wash. So as you can see guys, it's a really easy and simple gadget. Perfect size, easy to store away. When you're busy, you can leave this to do its thing. I could really get used to this, especially the mopping function. Just push a button and let it carry on by itself. If you want more information on this, I'll leave the link in the description below. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and I look forward to uploading a recipe video soon. See you next time.